Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is August 15th and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop and we have a lot to talk about here today, folks. We got this upper level low continuing to bring thunderstorms up across a lot of California, up towards Oregon. And this is going to continue for the next few days as well, possibly kicking off some fires out there across the area. But the bigger weather story here is you're probably going to be hearing some chatter about this over the next couple of days as well. Invest 90 Echo, tropical development down here with this complex of thunderstorms will likely move closer to Baja and bring a surge of moisture into the Southwest USA. And if you've been living in Southern California or Nevada or Arizona for a while, you know what that means. That surge of moisture can bring some very extreme weather here and models are coming to a better ag agreement that this is going to get precariously close to Southern California. We're going to go into this in some extreme detail towards the end of the video today. And if you want to save 10% off, click down below for this weather station. I highly recommend this weather station. You can scroll all around and click on individual sites there. You can see the Bay Area where all the stations are located right now so anyway looking at the lightning strike density over the last 48 hours check it out across some of the desert areas the higher terrain all the way through northern california even some of the coastal areas as well been getting lightning strikes and this is going to continue on for the next few days as well we've got some excessive rainfall possible across the sierra nevada for arizona as well we'll look at those details here coming up in a moment this is the rainfall chances for wednesday san diego check it out you get a thunderstorm across some of the higher terrain can't roll one out of the lower but extremely low odds of that at at least with this round of moisture. Now, taking a look at thunderstorms today, looking at this afternoon hours all the way through evening, just kind of clipping Sacramento, Yuba City, Chico, Redding, Under the Gun, Reno, Eureka, impacts, lightning, small hail, some brief heavy rain. The bigger rainfall amounts are going to be more likely here over the across the higher terrain of the Sierra Nevada. Nice stuff from National Weather Service Sacramento. This is Eureka, California. Pretty darn warm out there, especially across some of the valley areas, and red flag warnings are up. Fire weather watch, heat advisories, Excessive heat warnings, you name it, we got it here all the way up through southern Oregon down into the valley here. Warming up at least for a bit before the next uh, weather change comes, which we're going to go into some detail here in a couple of moments. Bear with me. This is thunderstorm forecast for northern Arizona. You can clearly see each day we do have the localized uh, flash flooding potential as we go through Thursday and Friday. It increases and Saturday, check it out, starts to go widespread. So we're going to watch that closely. More on that here in a moment. Death Valley, all is right with the world. Death Valley, 116 yesterday, highest temperature in the lower 48. Look at Fox Park, Wyoming at 28 degrees, nice and chilly. And, uh, you know, you see the tropical system passing south of Hawaiian Islands. I want to kind of reassure everybody this will kick up the winds a little bit, but this is not anything like what Dora brought. Dora had a, you know, a 1035 millibar high here, and it was about 990 passing south. You had a powerful 45 millibar gradient that really kicked off those east winds and northeast winds across the islands. You're going to get an uptick in the winds, but as you can see, the highest placed much farther north and the low is not as strong here so just kind of putting everybody at rest with that this system out here could bring an increase of moisture here as we go on in through next week as well now looking at precipitable water look at san diego this is the european remember it wasn't showing um, only a few of the ensembles had that you can definitely see the uptrend here as we go with the increased moisture with that tropical system that will be approaching from the south this is going to be interesting to watch over the next few days this is san diego on the gfs you can clearly see some of these ensemble runs in the control run itself bringing a big surge of moisture up across the region this is looking at total precipitation in inches so this is a 12z let me update this because this is running as we speak if i put this into motion you can see the thunderstorm activity here over the next few days not too big of a deal pretty typical stuff but then look at this surge from the south i mean this is just very intense this is not normal here across from the desert area folks this would bring some very intense rainfall to places that don't normally get it and this could include southern california some of the higher terrain of the sierra nevada as well where it's no telling where this system will head at this point but it's definitely worth watching right now because these can be high impact events with these moisture surges with tropical systems up across the southwest. Now first, let's look at the next couple of days. As you can see, 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. You see the spin in the atmosphere there, allowing these storms to move up and across the region. Again, mainly the higher terrain is going to be focused here, but you can see the general motion of these storms. They move off to the northwest here and to the north around this upper level low that just kind of seems to be extremely persistent off the coast of California here. Then we're going to be dealing with a whole set of new problems with that tropical surge moving up over the area. Day one thunderstorm outlook here does kind of clip 
Sacramento and Fresno up into Oregon, Northern California, Redding, Reno here. Does include Las Vegas. Day two, again, something similar. And day three there. And, you know, as we get closer, we'll check out that moisture surge with that activity. But this is day one, excessive rainfall. Again, some of those thunderstorms could drop some heavy rain across the Sierra Nevada, Arizona into Nevada, Utah, Canyon areas. Watch out. You know how it goes. This is day two, something similar there. Now, looking at temperatures, you can see we're going to be pretty warm here over the next three days, all the way through Thursday, Fresno, California, then dropping back down towards normal as that uh, you can get some cloud activity and some moisture moving up over the region. It's going to suppress some of the temperatures across a lot of the area. And this is Chico. You can see the drop down after some very warm days as we go through Thursday, Los Angeles, coastal area there. Burbank, as you go inland a bit here, check it out. You're flirting with 100 degrees here the next three days. Phoenix, Sky Harbor, warm days, but then check out that tropical surge and really start to cool things down. Look at this. The high only into the 90s. Would you believe it there for Phoenix, Arizona? That would be quite nice. Sacramento, you can clearly see the drop down here as we go through the weekend coming up. Las Vegas, something similar there. Look at some of these highs only getting into the 80s. Not bad. This is 6 to 10 day temperature outlook through August 24th. You can clearly see the below average signal here across a lot of the southwest. This is 6 to 10 day precipitation, clearly taking into account that huge surge of moisture that could potentially be moving up over the area. Now look at this, the European calling now for this system to remain close and the surge would be coming up on the right side of that. So this would definitely be bringing that tropical moisture up over the area. Look at the GFS closer even to Baja here as well. And some of these model ensemble runs been showing a strong system approaching Baja here as well. So this can be very interesting to watch the storm develop here over the next few days. And uh, thankfully, we will be doing this together and be able to look at it each of those days. Mm -hmm. Check out the HWRF. Now watch this. This is Baja off to the right here. Look at this system. Just a tightly wound, powerful storm as it moves up here. This would be Sunday morning right off of Baja. Look at the radar representation of this storm. I mean, this is a hurricane at this point right now, so we have to watch this very carefully. This could have some high-impact events here across some of the region. Now, this is looking at the same model here. Uh, the hurricane re uh, weather research forecast, and you can see this huge slug of moisture. I mean, look at this hurricane. That is getting precariously close. And again, the, the old timers here across California and Arizona and Nevada will tell you what kind of craziness a system like this can bring across the region. Now, looking at the European versus the GFS, here we go. There go the couple two systems. This one aimed at Hawaii and then this is Invest 90 Echo here, and look at the surge kind of move up. This is last night's run, hour 144. This would be about Sunday night, and you can clearly see still some model disagreement here between the GFS, much closer to Baja versus the European, but still both models bringing a nice surge of moisture into the region. This is looking at the GFS hot off the presses, the 12Z run. You can see the upper level low spinning. We've got a lot of moisture over the region as we speak couple systems going. Now here we go with Invest 90 Echo moving up the coastline there. Look at that. Just impressive surge of moisture here, folks. This is going to be wild. Very exciting to watch over the next few days. And you can see it really move up even to, up to all the way up towards Oregon here and even into almost into western Washington. Impressive system there. Again, it's still got that model disagreement here, but I'm just trying to call attention to the possibility here, folks, because you need a few days to prepare for something like this, especially across some of the desert areas. Las Vegas would be under the gun as well here also. And this is the GFS ensemble mean versus the GFS control. And you can clearly see the system moving up the coastline there. So I might, I may have overdone the talk about that a little bit here, but it's definitely a threat and you can see it under development as we speak right now here across the tropics. So Tomorrow's forecast, we'll get, you know, as we go day by day, we're going to get better at model agreement and know what's going to happen a little bit better. And hopefully the GFS and European can come into a better agreement with the exact track of this uh, storm as it moves up over the area. But yeah, um, very exciting time here for weather watchers across the Southwest USA, no doubt with this system developing here. And I mean, these thunderstorms have been producing some pretty good lightning across the region as well. So pretty active August here across much of the region. It's going to continue as we go over the next week or so as well. And again, Hawaii, I know things are dry out there, but don't freak out too much as this system passes to the south. It's not going to be like Dora. The high is much further 
displaced north. The gradient will not be as strong. You will not get those 70 mile per hour winds that you got across Maui are coming up. But still, you know, wildfires happen across Hawaii and things are abnormally dry here. And there is some drought across the region. So watch out there if you're across the Hawaiian Islands out there. But anyway, yeah, we'll watch this again tomorrow. We'll break it all down again. And yeah, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. Click that little bell. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.